Now, hello everybody, this is the upper bracket finals, or the complete finals, for the whole brawl that happened a month or so ago, two months maybe by now. And so I'm gonna just jump right into this. This isn't like anything I've planned out at all. I'm literally going into this live, I haven't watched any of the gameplay. I thought it'd be fun to just get into it, watch it some, and review how I thought these guys are playing and some of my thoughts on the series as a whole and, and the tournament as we go through and watch these games. Uh, first off, I wanna say how cool is it that Cloud2 made the finals, right? I mean, Tournament, uh, Chicago, and Gimmick all coming together since the organizations weren't playing at the time. Obviously, a few weeks later now, we know that these guys aren't even on Cloud9 at all. Uh, but, so it was really cool to see these guys come together and play. Uh, I'm a huge Space Station fan. I think their roster looked really good last season on LCS, and they had the potential to really come out into the, into the regional finals and put on a big show. But obviously, G2 took that. And so yeah, it was cool. I thought it'd be fun to just get in here. Watch some Rocket League, discuss it a little bit as I'm playing. Really nice uh, flip reset there from AXP. Pretty, pretty decent play, pretty close to coming through. I am. Um, one of the things that I know Lala talked about stuff was just how Cloud2 played here, as as like kind of like just friends goofing around, hanging out, and kind of just went with the flow. And I thought that'd be really interesting to see against like once they did get to the finals, they they went through the rest of the bracket pretty handedly. Like there are obviously a few close games here and there, but. The, the fact that they're able to get to a finals is really cool to see that kind of like I guess like uncoordinated style of these guys just coming together versus a team like Space Station who are all still individually talented but they do have that extra you know team coordination that chemistry because they've played so much together I know Chicago had played with Gimmick a fair bit I'm pretty sure they were saying like just for ranked for like you know rank S whatever it was but I really wanted to see how they perform against an elite roster like Space Station. I I didn't watch the rest of the lower bracket yet, so I don't know how Space Station did as a whole in this tournament, but I imagine they're still pretty good just as much as I, I left them when like two months ago when I um when I stopped following the scene for uh, for a little bit. But I do like Civical Arsenal and XP, I do think they're all really good players and from what I could tell they're still pretty underrated. Like I think everyone knows they're good, but there isn't really much talk about them being great MVPs and stuff. A really nice goal here too, that was nice. Let's see. That was really nice, holy cow. What a shot. Isn't that crazy how those guys manage those goals? Like, Gimmick's just coming in, he's like, yeah, that's such an awkward angle. Like, I would never try to hit the wall like that, I feel like, in a ranked game. Oh, you'll have to forgive me if the dogs are barking. I think someone just got home. Nice block there, Barcelona. It's gonna take a ping back out to Torment, but... Super cool, I'd like to see him control that. Oof, that was a bit rough. AXP just carrying it down there, buying time very well. Um, I like to see them pressuring the corners there, that's good. A lot of guys have been going for that like weird like first touch flip resets too, I've noticed since since uh, the last time I really followed the scene. Can definitely be useful, but it's just funny to watch. It looks kind of awkward, you know what I mean? Really nice settle by XP, that was good. Nice recovery by Gimmick though. I feel like Space Station are definitely getting a hand on uh, Cloud2 so far as far as keeping pressure in their half. Obviously Cloud2 had that nice goal, but so far the ball has been in Cloud2's defensive half for a long time. And Torment's out of boost, I imagine the rest of the guys are pretty low too. What a goal, that was really nice. I was going to say, it seemed like soon enough they were going to break. They were in their half for so long, Torment had no boost, there wasn't really much he could do here other than hope to get to the corner instead of just letting it bounce off his backboard. Off the bar and in, not bad. I feel like I constantly keep missing the Space Station decal in, in the eSports store. I want it so bad, that decal. A bit of an awkward read almost. I don't know if that was on purpose, but it ended up working out really well following the typical. One of my favorite things to study about is, like when I'm watching the pro scene, is how these pros manage their low boost. Because we all know, like, you know, these guys, when they have a full tank of gas, they can go, they can score these flip resets, everything, like these crazy pre read flip plays, you know, all that stuff. But I love seeing how they manage the low boost situations to try to create offensive opportunities. Because obviously you could just stitch it and go back for boost, but you're giving up a session, you're giving up the pressure. I love to see how they can manage, you know, taking their time so their teammates can get boost, as well as still being a threat themselves. All three of the space station guys are kind of grouped up there for a second. They're so aggressive in these corners, I really like keeping Cloud2 
in their own half. I like to see the like the early pressures on those dribbles and stuff. What a touch! That was a really nice hit around. Setting up the shot from AXP. Man, that was really nice. I, again, that was looking a little awkward. You're like so close in that shadow position. You don't really have a good angle, but he's able to get that touch, and his teammates are right there immediately to follow up. Really nice chemistry there from the team coming out. They just seem to be playing faster than Cloud2 at the moment. They can't score, but they're getting so many touches before Cloud2 that if I had to call it, I would say the series is going to go Space Station favor after a while, especially this game. And Cloud2 really need this overtime reset, I think, in order to get back in this game. A nice bump, that's going to make it awkward. Chicago going to dump it down there, that'd be an interesting touch. That's going to be an awkward touch. Long boost and give it away just to Chicago. Luckily, Chicago's not able to do much with it there. But. So Arsenal, he's trying to get boost still. I can't believe Sipical got that. That was actually really nice. That was going to be bad if if Sipical lost possession there. I like that pass. That was really good. Very good cutout by Arsenal. Like I said, so far I've been most impressed by Space Station's offensive pressure and just keeping the ball in Cloud 2's half of the field. That's a good clear. AXP's right there for that. Oh, Jarvan almost on gold. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was a really, really good counterattack. AXP's touch here. Um, I don't know if that was quite what he wanted, but it ended up working out pretty well. Cause, you know, like, what are you supposed to do as tournament? You know, you're expecting him to get another hit there, and you know, you're just gonna keep rotating back either way. But that was so funny. I'm gonna skip forward a few minutes here. That was such a funny ending to that game. Hmm. I, I liked what I saw from Space Station. I definitely think they're the favorites in the series so far. But Cloud2 showing they can get it done. They only had that one goal though. And they didn't have a ton of crazy offensive you know, pressure or anything from what I thought for the rest of that series. Or for the rest of that game. Wow, this is... I wonder how long this is between games. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to... Come on now. Oh, doggies, no! Someone's gonna be getting how many minutes, so I am sorry if they- here we go. Alright, so kickoff looks like it's going in Cloud 2's favor. Ooh, really nice clear out there. I don't know if that was on purpose again, but typical, really nice ball control there, taking it. And I like that challenge from Gimmick, gonna make it awkward. What a demo. Gimmick really putting some work there defensively. That was really close. I love how well teams turn that at the pro level, it's just something you will never see in ranked. Those like midfield, like, clear up to the wall and teammates will here, speaking of, come on now, doggies. Speaking of ranked, I'm almost back in Grand Champ. I'm very thankful. It's been only like three days. I told you in my other video, I hadn't played in like two months. And, you know, three days later, I'm almost back in Grand Champ. I'm like, oh, thank goodness. I was so like, wow, these dogs. I'm so sorry. Sorry about that. If you missed anything there, I had to go get the dogs. They were barking, whining and stuff. But, either way, uh, nice hit by Civical there. Quick follow-up. Oh, nice block by Gimmick. I thought that was going to get by him for a second. Oh my word, these dogs. Well, you'll have to pardon the interruption again. My dog got out into the parking lot and almost got hit by a car. So, I had to go make sure the fence was secure from that point on. Ah, excuse me. Give me some shots for that. That could have been a better opportunity for Cloud2. They had an opportunity for a counterattack. It was basically a 3 on one but Torment's air dribble was a pretty unfortunate decision, I think. Probably could have taken a ground play there for a more effective, or at least just hit it to a teammate harder instead of trying to take it yourself on that solo air carry. Good touch. That was a really good clear. Or at least, you know, maybe not clear, but just put it in the corner and make it awkward for the attacking team. I haven't noticed much from Chicago this series, either way. Um, oh, that's good. That was really nice. That was good. Literally, right as I'm saying it, he, he gets a great pass there. That was a really nice play. Love that counterattack. What a touch, too. So soft. That was, like, perfect. So, game two. Cloud 2 get off to another lead here. 
I think I called them called them Cloud Two, right? I don't think I called them Cloud Nine again. <laughs> oh, that would have been nice block by Ursula. Who was able to get that? I'm gonna mute this for a second. I think they're gonna be language now that they moved into the player comms. Civical there. Oh, that's a dangerous clear. I thought, but he probably had a better angle than where the Cloud Nine or Cloud Two players were. I was gonna say that was like right down in the middle of his own box, but he probably knew that no, none of the players were nearby. Oh, Gimmick was close to getting that. That would have been pretty good. Gimmick's way up for that. Oh yeah, baby, there it is. Oh, oh no, how close is that? Almost a gorgeous spell coming out from Gimmick there. That would have been a really nice way to put up 2-0. Two, two Arsenal now, nice high hit. Oh, there's something so fascinating about Rocket League. Like, isn't it just, oh, I didn't even realize, I'm such a dope, I have that little YouTube bar open the whole time, I'm sorry guys. Isn't it fascinating, like, just the way this game's played? I love Rocket League, like, it's just fun, right? But one of the things I find it fascinating about as an eSport is how close it is to a real eSport. And I'm pretty sure I discussed that in an old video from a few months ago, but, like, it feels like a real sport, you know? Like, oh, there's just so much that you can compare it to about a real sport, but it's, it's fascinating, the flow of the game, the pace, and it feels like real soccer. Like, soccer is, you know, the most popular sport in the world or whatever. I think it's fascinating to watch. Even during the boring times, there's just something so entertaining about that back and forth, the stalls, the, or like the, the stalemates is what I meant, not the stalemates. And like, you know, just the way that the interplay works of how these teams put the ball. Look, look at that by Arsenal, isn't that insane? I'm fascinated by like, just the way these players play the game. It's just another level above ranked. And like I've said before, not to brag, <laughs> I've been in GC and the play does not look like this. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's so crazy, because they have the same exact resources and tools that we do to play our game, but they use it so well, it makes it such a fascinating game, just the way they're able to play it so high and quick and fast-paced and, like, creative, and the way the cards move, it's all just so smooth and, like, flowy, it's so fascinating to watch. Decent pop there, I'd like to see Tormund follow, that was good, but... Really good sniff out from Arsenal. The, the, obviously the pros, you know, they're so good at sniffing out those opportunities before. What a bump. Oof, good touch there. Cloud 2 is on low and boost again. Torment there is nice clear, but it's right to Sipical. This could be a goal for Space Station to tie it up soon. Uh, yeah, Chicago can't do it that. He's low and boost too. Tries to hit it down to AXP. I like that pass a lot, but Gimmick rating out the pass very well. One thing I do like about this Cloud 2 team is, although they've been on defense a lot, they have been fairly good at breaking up passes. I really feel like, you know, Space Station's only a moment away from scoring again, though. I think Cloud2 should probably finish this one out. I'd like to see them finish it out. But either way, Space Station have had so much more offense, I feel like. I wonder what the shot count looks like. I want to check after this game, but overall, it just feels like... And, like, look how long they're keeping it going. There we go. That was a good breakup from Cloud2. I hope he shows the scoreboard here. He does not. Well, either way, I think um, Cloud2's defensive interceptions have been pretty solid even though they need to get more offense going they've they've not had a ton of opportunities here pardon the buffering yeah that was really nice ooh good shot opportunity so right here Torment gets blocked very nice by Arsenal but he's on boost keeps chasing it very nice ah uh, that's just a misread Cloud2 keep getting caught out with so little boost I think that was a bit awkward by Gimmick. I think he could have done better there. He, If he knew he was low on boost or whatever it was, I feel like he should have seen Sipical coming or whoever it was in the corner. XP, I don't actually No, I didn't pay attention to the name tag. Whoever that Arsenal or Space Station defender was that blocked him, I feel like he could have seen him coming and tried to play it around a little bit more, or at least force a better 50-50. And that's an awkward little touch there. I like that by Gimmick. Very, very decent touch to clear the danger, but obviously unfortunate that you had to do that in the first place. So, Space Station obviously take- oh, 2-0 no lead now, nice. That was a good one. Gotta like that demo play coming out from Arsenal. Uh, I was gonna say the first goal though wasn't super convincing, that was just more of a mistake from Cloud2. And Space Station really haven't scored many game goals this series, uh, outside of, you know, that one mistake and then this demo now. It's looked a bit rough even though they've had most of the pressure.
awkward touch by gimmick again like not like awkward in a bad way of like oh he should have been better with that touch but he's able to get a, a, a touch to it even though it's so awkwardly like angled the way he puts his car really impressive how he does that and it helps, helps keep that pressure in cloud two where they almost score twice there that could have been really nice and I like what I'm seeing from Gimmick, even though I know there's a bit of a rotation with him being a bit ball chasey and how he works with teams. Oh, that would have been a nice shot. Nice block. That was really nice. Truman hit that down. Chicago hit it. Gimmick followed up so quick. That was a really nice way to break out of your own half. Necessary to get this game back in this game because you're only two down, but you're already a minute and a half off the clock and. You know, it's crazy how it just starts to look a bit a bit rough quickly in this game, you know? It's only five minutes. If you look at Rocket League, how many goals are scored in five minutes? It's way higher than, like, soccer, where it takes, you know, 90 minutes for a similar scoreline. So you definitely have time to come back, but the time drains quick, you know? Every second's a pretty big part of the game. Tournament down the middle to Gimmick. Double that? Oh yeah, oh, out of boost. Goodbye, XP to take that down. I like that hit too. So nice uh, to be able to force that where you can follow up. You know, a lot of team times, especially ranked players, you kind of just clear that rather than following up on it, taking a touch you can follow up on. What a pass back. Wow, that was, that was insane. Did you see how Sibical hit that to follow up on? I would have just boomed that, but that was so clever. Very well done. Gimmick, ooh, nice block by XP again. All right, so typical here. Torment awkward angle, yeah, that was a bit, a, a bit of an awkward challenge. I feel like he probably could have approached that differently, but at this point, Space Station don't even need to score again. They can take the time on the slow pace. Look at that, that was decent. Nice follow up here. Looks like Cloud 2 are low in boost, or at least weren't in a position to do anything about them. That almost led to another Space Station goal. Cloud 2 had a few chances this game, but overall, again, it's mostly been Space Station, I feel like. They're obviously known for being a very solid offensive team. Oof, AXP just plays the wide, and that's a goal. Oh man, Torma come back just in time. Nice play by Gimmick. Could have been a little bit higher, but that would have been able to maybe either let himself follow it up or... Ooh, it ends up in a goal here. I wonder why this... I don't know how this happened necessarily. Because Gimmick's touch, it didn't look fantastic. Right here, I thought, like, it looked like it could have been good, but the way it ended up hitting, it looked like ASP was able to do something with it, but Arsenal ends up booming off his own backboard. What a touch by Chicago, far post. Holy cow. If that was communicated, that was gorgeous. Look at that. What a touch. Holy cow. If he saw Gimmick back there, you gotta love those callouts and the communication, even though these guys don't play together all the time. Or at least Gimmick and Checo, I think they said they do, right? And like rank X and stuff. What a play. Puts them back in this game. Only a minute left, though. Yeah, typical is able to take position there. Again, I think that was just kind of an awkward situation where Cloud2 weren't. Like, Chicago had that and Torment just kind of fell on it, but... So it's the only mistake that our Space Station should be able to capitalize on, and you know, that's what they're, they're good at. They're great at capitalizing on those opportunities. They're so consistent with getting pressure in the opponent's half that once you make that mistake, it feels like Space Station always capitalize. He sees Gimmick. Very, very nice interception by Arsenal. Good block by Torment. That's weak, Chicago's there. Oh, weak touch. I think he was trying to pass it down to Gimmick, obviously, but I feel like probably would have been just easier to hit a nice hard shot and force Space Station to make a play. Because he, he would have been able to hit it hard enough that it would have been a difficult save. Oh, 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 that would have been so nice. That was so funny. I like that he did that though, obviously, you know, like a hard shot probably would have been saved there, so it's really nice to keep Space Station on their toes. 
Oh man, Chicago is so close to getting those nuts play nut nuts plays. All right, well this game's looking about wrapped up. We'll see if Tony can do it in here. Oh, Sh yeah, th this um last like minute or two, Chicago and Gimmick and Torrent all seem to be pretty close to scoring a few times, but Space Station able to take the two nil lead or two one lead now in the series. Really good series so far though. I am interested to see how Cloud Two continues to perform because. That game, they definitely seem to figure it out much more than the the first or the, the first win from Space Station. As far as an offense towards the end, Cloud Two seemed to generate more, but they did concede three goals, obviously, which I think was more than they conceded in the other games. Nice bump. A really nice hit again, but you know these guys so good at defending. Even really nice hits like that get stopped. I like that aggressive position by XP. Instead of like just being far close, he was top of the box to intercept that pass. Fake challenge by Sipical. I don't know if I like that 100%. I thought he could have blocked that. I'll have to. I'd have to rewatch that one, but I thought he could have blocked it. If not, that's fine then. Flip reset by Arsenal. The nice follow up dunk. What a play. We've seen a lot of good team play by these guys and just overall team pressure, but sometimes those individual mechanics are just what comes through. Gimmick can't do much about that, you know, even if you touch it, Arsenal just dunks them. Kind of a pinch off the ceiling there, AXP's able to intercept it, but... Gimmick should be able to follow it up with a nice ball downfield when Torment's demolished Arsenal. Might be awkward for Space Station. Another block, but no one's really there to capitalize right away. Good demo, that'll help slow down the offensive momentum for a second, but Chicago's right there behind to follow up. I don't know if I like that touch by Chicago so much. It seemed like there wasn't much for that ball to go to a place where he could follow up before any space station defender or generate value out of his play, you know what I mean? Oh, that's unfortunate, that could have been a nice shot. Yeah, also, isn't it cool that the lower bracket was uh, in partner with ESPN Esports? I love seeing stuff like that, like um, last season or two before Overwatch League signed the rights just to YouTube. They'd have like matches on Disney XD and stuff. I love watching the night on my big screen. Well, not my big screen. Big screen as in I mean like an actual TV, but you know, it was, it's probably from literally like 2001. But either way, it was super cool. And I love seeing these professional networks and stuff take advantage of the esports opportunities that come along like this. Speaking of, at the time of this recording, the Summer Shuffle from uh, BTS, is it? I think it's the BTS Summer Shuffle, maybe, is coming. Or, yeah, I think it is. Uh, that's coming up in two days, so I'm super excited about that. I, I was looking a little bit at the rosters of who was coming to that. That's exciting. I love watching live Rocket League, and you know, I'll have just finished watching this in time to, for that one to start up. Super cool. I love the branding for the Summer Shuffle too. if you haven't seen it. Really nice redirect, just off target. Typical is able to touch it. Almost able to beat two of them there. That would have been really nice. Torment's slow on boost here, he's gonna struggle to get back here. But Gimmick does a nice job controlling pressure again. Now it seems like the past minute or so it's kind of flipped. Cloud 2's had a lot of the pressure and a really nice bump there. Should open it up for Gimmick. Nice touch by Sivical though. I like Sivical a lot. I think he's my favorite player on the Space Station roster. I like what he does. He's he's just seems so smooth and controlled on the ball. Nice ball back. Chicago's out though, can't do much with that. Looked like he was trying to get another bump there. Very clever as he rotated out, but he went a while without any boost. I don't think it would have done much though if he had any for a while, so that was good. Ooh. No. Typical, probably another goal here. Nice save by Gimmick. Chicago got ball. Torment's mid. Nice block by XP. I don't know if he was low on boost, if Chicago was low on boost, or if he just couldn't get the touch in time. Man, nice attacking. I love that by Sibical. He makes it look so good every time he goes on those attacks. 
Oh my word, what a read by Genekin. He's It was like such an awkward touch when he was in reverse, just passing it over to Space Station, but he's still got to give him those really awkward defensive touches. It's so, so good. I'd like to see where these guys end up. I don't know if they've signed a new team or anything. Um, because Gimmick and Fire, or Gimmick and Torment are still together, right? They're just not under Cloud9 anymore. I wonder if they found a third man. I'll have to look at that. Speaking of different rosters and stuff, I saw Dapper was trying out for um, Charlotte Phoenix now that he's off of Susquehanna Sonics. And so that's pretty cool. I hope he goes there. I like Dapper. I think he'd be a good fit there. I think, I don't know who he'd be replacing, but I think he'd be a pretty decent pickup. I know he struggled last season pretty mightily with his team, but I thought he definitely had his moments. And as a team, it wasn't great, but I thought Dapper definitely deserves a spot on a team like Shot Phoenix. I'd like to see him there. I know they just picked up Wonder Mike, right? Would it be Karma, Wonder Mike, and Dapper? So this is overtime now, and okay, I was gonna say he could just let it drop. So 3 to 1 now, Space Station's taken after Cloud G's had a pretty dominant run this tournament. Could be the final game of the series already. Oh, nice clear. That was close. What a touch. Really nice pass down. These guys are so good at that. That's one of the things I respect most about Space Station. Alright. Gimmick should be able to take this here. Nice pop up over. And Chicago, what a goal. I love seeing that, man. Holy cow. I was getting ready to try to think, like, okay, how's this gonna go? What could he have done better here? But he then he took it and just popped it up so quickly that, like, man, what a goal. So that takes the lead, though. It's a bit of a ways away from taking the series, but it's something. Shows these guys are still capable of taking the lead here, making some good offensive plays. I feel like a lot of Cloud 2's goals have been less traditional than Space Station. I know Lawler talks about it a lot. Like, these guys just get together for fun, go for whatever you want. But honestly, they've scored some pretty entertaining goals. Really nice stuff by Chicago to keep the pressure. Gimmick misses the challenge there, and nice by Torment to force that challenge. Gimmick no boost here. Uh, I don't know, that's fine. I think he could have probably just ditched that second challenge. I think it was fine that he did. Like, either way, it works out all Oh, wow, it works out all right. Um, but I was going to say, when he's on zero, there's probably no chance he's actually going to be able to hit this ball. But... Um, he falls enemies just to put pressure on Space Station. Ends up leading a goal after a demo and the ball just kind of rolls to Chicago. <laughs> Tournament down to Chicago. That was nice by Arsenal. They have to read the ball so quickly off of Gimmick. Like Gimmick and Chicago and Tournament. Especially Gimmick though, he's so good at getting to the ball quick on those like crazy reads that it's really forcing Space Station's defense to be like aggressive and read the ball so early. And I think that's part of what's getting Cloud 2 in this game specifically, but especially over the past few games when they've started generating more offense and more pressure. That first two games it felt like Space Station had all the pressure, but now uh, Cloud 2, they're, they're making Space Station work for a lot more than they were before. They're making quicker reads and stuff, which is in turn forcing Space Station to have to make quicker reads if they want to keep up the pressure they were holding in the first few games. I like that. Of course, Zachary touches out. You know, obviously you'd rather score those, but it was a really nice opportunity and put pressure on Cloud2. Arsenal should be able to just take this back and win them possession, which he does. Very nice. Ooh, that's good. I like that touch by XP. Obviously, no one's there to read it, and it's just going to give away possession to Cloud... Or, should have given away possession to Cloud9, or Cloud2. But his teammate had just been demolished, and it was an awkward ball right to Cloud2, probably, if he didn't touch it. It's a really nice play. And ends up leading to an offensive attack somehow, too. But... Gimmick there, like, look how quick he was there to challenge that. Really nice. Torment's up early. Yeah, that was really nice. That whole play was just because they were able to... They were forcing themselves to get to the ball quick. Look how quick Torment's up, but Forcible can't even react. He even forces a 50-50 a little bit, but just falls to Chicago. I'm very glad G2 have been doing so well. I love seeing them do well. They were at the Worlds I went to, and 
the players all seem pretty cool. They deserve. I think it's super cool to have a team house now. This three 0 lead now. It's looking almost insurmountable for Space Station, but they're on match point, series point, I should say. Nice pass by Arsenal. Typical. Oh, I was gonna say that it looked like it was, could have been close to a uh, really nice two-on-one -on -one demo play, but they get cut out on the counterattack. Yeah, that's unfortunate. You're so close to getting that goal. You're down 3-0 when you're going for that bump play. That it's 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 all right to get a bit aggressive there, but in a normal like neutral play, who was like 0-0, that would have been a bit aggressive from Space Station. I thought two of them were up on the ball. Like one was demo, and one was on the ball, and one was, I think somewhere either stealing a boost or at least nearby in like the attacking third of the field and you know that that just creates a numbers advantage for the, the attackers that cloud two punished xp should be here see sip yep i was gonna say oh look at those touches they're so smooth holy cow what a goal i love typical man he's such a player i was gonna say right there xp should totally see typical chicago and tournament left the field so wide open after Chicago had uh, challenged as first man. Punished so well. That's what you love to see from teams like Space Station. Probably doesn't really matter this game, but... Hmm. I was wondering... My, my arm was like feeling tingly and weird. I um, I had my arms crossed and it was like on my watch over here. And it was a huge like, red mark with the exact like face of my watch ingrained on it. Nice touch by Civical. These guys are great. I love as teams progress more and more. There's been a lot of jam lately about... I think it's cool. From when I've last followed the scene, I feel like there's a lot more information on behind the scenes on players. And I know specifically, I think they were discussing with uh, t Team Envy that got picked up. There was a lot of discussion about their motivation as players and like how much time they were willing to put in the game. But Team Envy just like won't take that. Like, hey, you gotta, you gotta play. And the team, the players have begun practicing a lot more and stuff. And it's so cool now that this is like becoming such a more supported game. I guess you know, like. RLCS has done a good job supporting the players over the past few years, I thought, with how much priceful money there is. Like, over a million dollars isn't anything to scoff at. I know a lot of other team, our esports do more, and obviously Rocket League's doing way more now. But the chance to win any portion of that, just playing video games, like, how awesome is that? That we live in a world where that can be a thing. And now that there's more money being offered from things like the Summer Shuffle, and actual RLCS sanctioned events, and sanctioned events, and 1v1 tournaments, and all this stuff on Johnny Boy's stream, the Brawl, all that, it's really cool to see these guys be able to devote so much more time to practicing. And you know, like, players have always spent the time, but it's so cool to pl see players like Sipical just develop the game, and how he's turned the, turned the game into such a smooth, like, flowy game where he, every motion looks so controlled and graceful, like a little ballerina dance. It's awesome to see as this game progresses more and more that these players all, you know, the like, skill gap begins to close between the elite teams, like we obviously used to see the big three in NA, which I kind of miss. I miss seeing Energy G2 and Cloud9 always battling for the top spot. But I'm just going to skip forward here. See if we can get to the next game. Oh, uh, AXP ends up tying it up. That's so funny. Alright, so this could be the last game. I want to look at this kickoff real quick, though. Alright, so kind of typical. Yeah, normally people just cheating up and stuff. Really nice pass to Torment. Oof, that would've been so gorgeous. I love those reads, man. The pass plays are so nice. Passing plays really seen a decline, I think, since um, the original days of Cloud9. I'll let this just play through, I guess. Ever since Cloud9 was like super dominant and stuff, and like when they won their worlds, that it was like really, really strong passing play that kind of dominated the competition. But nowadays, it's like really important. Your team knows how to pass play. But teams are getting so much better defending it and stuff, and a lot more teams are getting good at it. That it's like such a common occurrence, but it doesn't lead to as many goals as it used to. Which I think is overall a good thing. It shows the game's developing to a point where all these teams are so good at it, both offensively and defensively, that you know, like the level of play has really stepped up. It's fascinating. I'm trying to think of things to criticize from Space Station. Um, honestly, I don't know how much of it's been necessarily their style of play, more so than just, you know, Cloud 2's making some nice plays, and you can't stop every single opportunity as defenders. But I I'd have to go back and watch some of the goals specifically, because I know some of them are off demos. Like right here, oh, Tomer could have taken that gimmick, left it. 
Really nice demo, but... Now Arsenal's on zero boost. That was really nice of him to get a challenge, but like, right there, the space station guys are all so close together again. That's to Arsenal. Okay, now Chicago's able to get there first. Nice. Ooh, that was close. Now, Torment and Gimmick both over sin for that. Oh, nice demo. That was really nice. I was going to say, Space Station had a really nice opportunity there, but Torment comes in with a big demo to at least make it even. But man, Arsenal's able to just keep carrying down the field. Even though Torment got the demo, Arsenal's right there to follow up and continue the pressure. Gimmick kind of went crazy there. I thought he could have had a, a bit of a better read on that, but you know, that's all right. And that's actually series goal now if Space Station don't give up this lead. So Gimmick going to take it up. Kind of just gives it to typical. I don't know, I've been very impressed with Space Station's play. I'd say Cloud9 need to do a better job of... Especially Gimmick, I think he goes a little bit too much for the solo plays. Which I think has been one of our concerns for a while now with him. Is there have been a few times where I thought he either could have slowed it down or found, found a teammate a bit more than he did. And silly double commits like that. Like, I don't know why Torment's going for that. They've played together for years. I feel like he should know Gimmick's going to be able to get that. That's nice. There we go. Oh, Gimmick almost found a crest goal there to find it. Yeah, that's just AXB. Pops it up for Arsenal. Like that touch, I like a lot. It it wasn't necessarily like it was a it was a boom and hit, but it was soft enough and high enough the angle that his teammate was able to to follow before any of the Cloud Two guys could. Nice by Sipical. That was gorgeous. You hear the players just scream in the back of that's so funny. Yeah, that touch by Gimmick, kind of just unfortunate. You know, if he was literally like a millisecond earlier, that wouldn't have popped off the roof straight up, straight down like it did. Kick off, XB, oh, okay. Now Torment's zero boost. That's going to be already awkward for Space Station. Or right, for a Cloud 2. And Gimmick's basically out too, but... They are able to buy a lot of time there, that's good. Really nice play to get that upfield and continue the pressure. I love the team play coming through from Space Station. I really do think they're one of the best teams in the world. I haven't, like I said, followed the past like month or two, but from from what I can remember, they're really good and they still seem really good. Their offense just seems really, really solid all the time and how well they pressure and work as a team. Oh, what a block. I thought Gimmick was going to be able to dunk him there. Nice ball. Torment should be able to... Nope. Okay, nice block by XP. That was another really close opportunity there for Cloud2. Torment, finish that. Double. Oh. Oh, nice. Okay. That was kind of just a little bit of like a scrapple after uh, a lot of few opportunity, a lot of close opportunities and Space Station ended up just having to scramble. So that's just someone where if I had to criticize Space Station, they just, you know, I don't know, because like, I don't know, is that something, obviously if I'm the coach for Space Station, there's something you can fix that. Every goal you can see, there's something you could have done differently. But from like a neutral perspective, how much of that was really Space Station's fault of, hey, you guys need a bit more organized on defense, you guys should have had better clears, versus just Cloud 2's putting up so much pressure, Space Station's running out of boost, eventually you're going to crack unless you can really, really find that solid clear quickly. Super aggressive, holy cow. Really nice though, at pinning Cloud2 in their own half real quick, and everyone's kind of on the ground, there aren't really many options, but Tormund takes a nice touch to clear it out. I'd like to see that aggressiveness from Space Station though. Oh my word. What are Space Station going to do here? Oh, that's unlucky. I was going to say, Space Station should have been able to do some of this. should have been able to capitalize on that awkwardness they created. Torment coming through doesn't really get much of a hit here. And Arsenal kind of just bounces it in and <laughs> bounces into Chicago said. Now with 30 seconds left, this could very easily be the series. As we're wrapping up then, I'd like to say what I like most about these teams is Space Station's team play for sure. Especially in offense, they're so good at working together not only to find each other, 
but rings so well to create space for each other through demolitions and aggressive positioning and the way they pressure the opponents. Really, really solid offensive play. And for Cloud2, I don't think you can really say much other than, wow, I'm impressed. For a team of pickups uh, coming in and beating all the rest of the teams they had to play against in order to get here, really cool. And I think it's awesome they were able to show us that, you know, pickup teams can play pretty well. It's kind of fascinating. Obviously fun to see Gimmick Tournament and Chicago together, but they overall just had a little bit too many double commits and not quite as good at getting those clears as Space Station was. But what a series. I'm very impressed by Space Station. Uh, the series has only increased their reputation in my mind. But that was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. I haven't been able to record a long pro analysis like this in a while. I think we all know how good Space Station is, but it was fascinating to see how they played against a team like Cloud2, and congratulations to both teams for making top two, but specifically, obviously, to Space Station for taking that. I can't wait to see uh, how how these teams perform in the next few months. I actually don't know if Space Station's in the Summer Shuffle, but I really hope they are, because they're one of my favorite teams. So, everybody, uh, last things, I have a blog for my Overwatch League content, and obviously other Overwatch League content on my channel. Please subscribe and like the video, and please comment if you think you noticed something from any of the players that you'd like to talk about and discuss. I love engaging in that discussion. Uh, so yeah, subscribe for more. I plan on doing daily content for a while, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.